Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Diana Wijaya and I am a student of LSPR Communication and Business Institute under the supervision of Mr. Charles Bonar Sirait as my lecturer. I am here today to talk to you about PCOS and its impact toward our perception, especially as women. Since it is very important for women's health and stigma that occurs in communication groups. Polycystic ovary syndrome, short for PCOS, is a hormonal disorder common among women in the field of reproduction. Reproduction is also one of the most common public health issues among us teenagers. Then, what is the function of public health? The public health function focuses on prevention and risk reduction. The public health function also plays an important role in anticipating and dealing with the threat of epidemics and disease pandemics, which are expected to continue to increase in the future. For Indonesia, the risk of epidemics and pandemics is a very large because of the very wide territorial boundaries and the large number of entrances. Also, the global health security information system in Indonesia is still in ADK. So now, let's just focus on PCOS. PCOS is a hormonal disorder common among women of reproductive age, said by Mayo Clinic 2020. The main features of PCOS are irregular periods, the infrequent or prolonged menstrual cycles. Excess androgen elevated levels of male hormones may result in physical signs such as excess facial and body hair and occasionally severe acne and male pattern baldness. Also, polycystic ovaries become enlarged and contain many fluid-filled sacs that surround the eggs. The ovaries may develop numerous small collection of fluid and fail to regularly release eggs. In Indonesia, PCOS is rife, suffered by children and adult women with less PCOS incidence more than 11 until 26% and on average caused by genetic and environmental factors such as socioeconomic status and lifestyle. This is often ignored and considered a normal situation when a person experiences symptoms from consuming junk food, irregular menstruation, unhealthy sleep patterns, and psychological conditions that can affect the onset of PCOS. This worrying condition has made a non-government organization in Indonesia at PCOS Father Indonesia as a forum to increase awareness of the Indonesian people to be concerned and overcome the dangers of PCOS in Indonesian women with the social media platform Instagram such as a communication medium for disseminating education and insight about PCOS and also women's health. Here, I am Diana Wijaya as the group leader for Group 6 Class PR 231SP will bring my group members consisting of Grace Aprilia Kosasi, Jolin Tiakizia, Eri, and Sevia Francisca to analyze a research entitled Analyzing the Health Communication Strategy by at PCOS Father Indonesia, the Indonesia's healthy education platform in Instagram to prevent PCOS among Generation Z's women in Jakarta City. So, let's normalize PCOS among Indonesian women and together we rise. Thank you so much for your time.